I am very pleased to present to you BPI Photonics. Uh, Eugene uh, Succolo, as well as Chris Maloney, are here to present to you. And with that, Chris Maloney, I give you the floor. Thank you so much. Yeah, th thanks, Kari, and thanks, everybody, for being here today. As mentioned, I'm Chris Maloney. I'm Director of Business Development at VPI Photonics, and I'm being joined by my colleague today, Eugene Sokolov, who's a Senior Photonics Application Engineer. And today we're excited to make an announcement that we are releasing a new interoperable software platform for the design of photonic devices. And, uh, and this will empower you to define the cutting edge. And so let me first start with just a, a brief background um, of VPI before I hand it over to Eugene. Um, but we've been um, market leaders in this uh, industry for over 20 years um, uh, with customers and uh, locations internationally uh, and providing uh, software for photonic design and analysis that uh, is integrated, it's interoperable, and it's industry leading. So it's integrated in the sense that our um, simulation technology is in a professional design environment. Um, and many of the tools actually operate in the same user interface. So they're all in, they're integrated together. It's also interoperable with many third party simulation softwares. So um, you can provide um, co-simulation with Python, MATLAB, um, even Keysight ADS and a number of our uh, partner software. And uh, it's industry leading. So we're always working with our industrial collaborators and participate in many um, uh, research projects. Uh, specifically, uh, we're involved in a number of uh, European research projects. And to give you an overview about our, our software solutions, um, our flagship product is the VPI Photonics Design Suite which includes both transmission design and component design in a, a single user interface. So you can be um, des designing optical communication systems as well as the components that go along with them. So for fiber optics and uh, photonic integrated circuits. Um, we also provide uh, tools at other levels of abstraction, one for link engineering for uh, network design configuration and today what we'll be focusing on is uh, the device level. For device simulation, we're launching a new product called uh, VPI Device Designer, um, which is interoperable with our, with our other tools. And so Eugene is going to take us through some of the technical details around VPI Device Designer and uh, explain the photon photonic design workflow that's enabled um, with this new product. Thanks, Chris, for the nice introduction. And um, I'm really excited to have uh, and present you this VPI device designer, which is our new product. And it is essentially a simulation framework for the um, analysis and optimization of the integrated photonic devices and waveguides. So this includes wave, uh, band waveguides and um, waveguides made of and devices made of anisotropic materials. And as a little bit different flavor of uh, VPI device designer is design of uh, optical fibers. And this includes multi-mode and multi-core fibers. Um, VPI device designer can be used either in a user-friendly Jupyter in a notebooks environment. <clears throat> and if you, if you are familiar, Jupyter notebooks uh, allow to combine your interactive simulation scripts and results and figures and uh, problem descriptions and equations in all like in, in one um, in one page and um, in general the choice of python is not uh, Okay. okay, here it is. The choice of Python is not accidental, surely. On the one hand, it is uh, really commonly used and it is easy to study. Uh, but on the other hand, it really gives you access to very rich uh, ecosystem of, um, of for scientific and engineering calculations. Um, so also VPI device designer provides the means of uh, defining layouts and cross sections in a convenient way and analysis of the simulation results. And uh, finally, VPI device designer could export parameters for the um, compact models and uh, be simulated, which be to be simulated in uh, VPI component maker photonic circuits. 
Um, so no doubt design and um, optimization of optical waveguides is one of the most common tasks for the optical engineers. And this includes conventional optical fibers and uh, semiconductor or dielectric waveguides uh, for photonic integrated circuits. So to define um, such cross-sections, VPI device designer provides library of standard uh, two-dimensional shapes like circles, rectangles, trapezium, polygons, and so on. And um, also some infinite uh, area objects. So assembled together, all these primitives could be used to create almost arbitrary uh, complex uh, cross-section. And once cross-section is defined, materials, calculation mesh are defined, we could use uh, one of the provided full vectorial finite difference two-dimensional mode solvers and calculate um, waveguide modes. And, um, and also the properties of these modes and field distributions. And here we can see some guided modes either in waveguide or in uh, fiber cores uh, for this uh, multi-core fiber example here. Uh, but also we can see some uh, leaky modes due to bending. Okay, however, the diversity of the photonic devices is not limited to the um, different waveguide cross sections. And for advanced devices, more sophisticated solutions are needed. And for that reason, we included in VPI device uh, design a platform means to define three-dimensional uh, photonic devices and um, capabilities to simulate them with uh, beam propagation methods. And um, similar to two-dimensional, there are three-dimensional shapes available. And again, we could combine them, unite, find intersection, uh, some, some differences, and, uh, and you know, to define really complicated three-dimensional structures. Um, once we define the layout, uh, we could um, input electromagnetic fields uh, to excite the fields inside of our devices. And we support uh, plane wave um, and uh, Gaussian beam and, and basically arbitrary field distribution. And once this is all done, uh, yeah, we could uh, simulate you know, field propagation in the devices and calculate uh, the properties, for example, scattering matrix of this Y branch here. And yeah, we will return to this later. So this shows uh, another example um, of a polarization converter proposed in the following work here. And device consists of uh, waveguides of two types, symmetric and asymmetric waveguides. And here we can see uh, two type of uh, modes excited in the waveguides. Uh, and once making a junction between them, uh, one can achieve polarization rotation due to a different angle between a different type of modes, as we can see here. Um, so further, by adjusting the width of the waveguide here and the length of this um, asymmetric waveguide, we could achieve uh, the full polarization conversion. Uh, and we can see how varying the length we could change the mode output from the, from this facet, from that of the asymmetric waveguide here. Um, okay, so we could use VPA device designer to simulate the photonic devices and waveguides as we just discussed. However, to simulate larger uh, integrated components comprising sometimes hundreds of building blocks, uh, VPA device designer interfaces with another tool with VPI component maker photonic circuits. And um, this tool is another product uh, of the presented workflow. It provides design flow for the um, design of photonic integrated circuits. It is very similar to the um, EDA style software tools, which is very common in the electronics world. world. Um, the tool covers very different types of applications, you know, passive uh, optoelectronic applications, lasers, SOAs, and so on. And uh, we can see design example here of a tunable hybrid 3.5 silicon laser with uh, some gain element here and uh, uh, silicon-based microring uh, filters uh, creating the cavity, the laser cavity. 
And we also see some uh, multi-mode interference uh, simulation results here and some four-wave mixing. Importantly, uh, that one can not only design, but also study design alternatives with this tool and also perform design optimization of those devices and do tolerances and sensitivity analysis. Uh, naturally, the, probably the core part of the VPI component maker for Nonic Circuits tool is the library of analytical models for different types of passive photonic devices and advanced models for the optoelectronic devices, such as DFB, DBR lasers, SOA, and so on. And properties and um, model parameters for these photonic um, devices could be measured or calculated with a device simulator. For example, VPI device designer, we have just discussed, right? And um, this is, could be done in the form of scattering matrix, for example, shown here for this wipe range and um, transfer function um, for a chosen pair of ports uh, could be accessed directly in device designer and saved to file and passed to the circuit simulator. Another example is immediate access to the um, uh, estimated uh, dispersion, dispersive properties of the waveguides. And again, we could calculate the dependence of the effective index and get it in format of a um, file or, or some analytical expressions, which directly understood by the circuit simulator. So this you know, allows to uh, integrate the tools pretty seamlessly. So here's an example of the circuit representing an encoded and balanced Mark Zeta interferometer. So in fact, it could be split into um, sub-devices like conventional unbalanced Mazender and re-encloded Mazender. Uh, and each of the sub-devices has its own set of resonances. And once combined, <clears throat> they provide like flat top filter here. Uh, we may distinguish several devices comprising the circuit and each of them could be simulated in a VPI device designer, but only once. And if all other instances uh, on the schematic could reuse uh, these simulation um, results. So this saves us a lot of time. Um, since the effect is rather subtle, it is important to introduce some tolerances and start as a component uh, robustness. Uh, and again, such tolerances analysis involves uh, thousands of simulations and um, it wouldn't be possible to simulate with a device level simulator. Uh, it will just take too much time. Uh, moving forward, once the circuit or component is designed, it is important to characterize it and um, test in the entire system. And this could be done straightforwardly with a tool called VPI Transmission Maker, which together with VPI Component Maker forms VPI Design Suit. Uh, so in other words, our whole simulation workflow could look like the following. Uh, we um, perform some segmentation of our circuit and perform device level simulation separately. And then we perform a circuit simulation, uh, which enables, um, you know, design of uh, like li large scale peaks. And once the design of the circuit is complete, uh, it could be further tested in the dedicated transmission system, as for example, the Xbox and the modulator tested in this subsystem here. And in the simplest case, this means adding a fiber model uh, representing, let's say, dispersion and uh, loss degradation of a signal in our transmission channel. However, in general, the tool provides capabilities of simulating all flavors of optical transmission systems, you know, for short reach, metro, long haul, and all other types. Um, if needed, advanced digital signal processing algorithm could be applied here. And, um, you know, all kind of modulation formats could be generated and analyzed. Uh, by now, we were talking purely about simulation, but once it comes to the implementation. One needs to know how the how to fabricate these devices and if they would operate as expected. And to satisfy these needs, we are working closely with the founders uh, on the development of PDK libraries. 
and um, you know they contain founder and uh, process specific models uh, and we also establish bi-directional interfaces with the layout tools which provide uh, one with information about the layout and allows to generate gds mask for the for your circuit uh, so this shows the schematic created with the pdk components um, the list of the founders uh, some of the founders we support and one would still need to do proper layout, right? And for this, as I mentioned, we work with uh, software providers of the layout tools. And uh, here we can see how the same circuit could be represented in different um, layout software. Um, so just to recap, this is how our final workflow looks like, um, starting from the device design and going further to the circuit simulation system verification and fabrication with a specific foundry. I would also like to mention that the whole workflow is literally infused with Python, starting with the VPI device designer, um, with Python as a core scripting language and ending with interfaces with the third party tools. Python allows to control the simulation, um, automate creation of the schematic and create your custom uh, schematics. So with that, I would like to thank you for your attention and for this opportunity to present VPI Device Designer, so our new interoperable software platform. I hope you will enjoy the easiness of uh, using Python interface and flexibility of this platform, uh, as well as um, its interoperability with our, uh, our other tools and, and third-party tools as well. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, Eugene. Terrific, Chris and Eugene. Thank you so much. That was an absolutely terrific presentation, and I'm so glad you were here with us today. Have a great rest of the week, and thank you for joining us.